Dendariel the Cherubim 4. Come on, said Dendariel. This way, Caledon. Caledon followed Dendariel through the complex into the launch room. There she is, said Dendariel. Excelsior 17. Dan dares glory. I think that was covered in an Eagle comic, wasn't it? The Excelsior series of spacecraft. Pretty much. Let's get on board, said Dendariel to Caledon. They boarded Excelsior 17 and uh, came into the main living room of the ship. There they are, the omnibus editions of Eagle Comics. Caledon got one out and started looking for it. Are we going for a flight? Indeed we are. Stay. He went up to the flight pad got it going and set the program. The ship took off. What powers this? Anti-grav technology. Anti-grav technology. Oh, well, all sorts of stuff. It's basically a helicopter. <laughs> can it get into space? Asked Caledon. If it has to, it can get up pretty high. They were flying over the region where Dendariel lived. Uh, Caledon was reading through the Eagle Omnibus. He had a lot of Eagle comics, of course. He was a big panopict graphist. Here she is. There, she's, there she is, said Dendariel, in the backyard, doing her gardening. She always does it at this time. Rizleth, said Caledon, looking down. There's Rizleth the Cherubim, your twin. Scarborough Princess, indeed. Okay. Are you watching? He pulled a lever on the control deck. Did Dandariel. And underneath, the garbage chute opened up and dropped its waste. The ship moved to the side as the waste fell down and landed on Rizleth's backyard, coming on some pieces of grotty yuck landed on Rizleth's head. <laughs> That'll teach her, said Dendariel. Caledon looked at him and looked down at Wisliff. I've got a new word in Scrabble for you. What's that? said Dendariel. Bastard. Yeah, probably appropriate, said Dendariel the cherubim, admittingly. <laughs>